welcome back to I wanna hug that gator but yeah welcome back what's up CPS? if you're new oh join the crew subscribe like comment down below check the links in the description you know you can check the discord out but yeah enough with the shilling if you're old let's get back to the game new and old let's go she looks away for a moment realizing how over the top her reaction was sometimes you just got that riz you know Olivia then does a double take at me, her brows furrowing. Are we actually recording? Yes, we are. Thank goodness. Uh, what's wrong with your skin? I was born like this. Shut up, that's not... You know what? Yes, it is. But I mean, it's... Red. Oh, yeah, I think I'm sunburned. As I look over the red splotch on my arm, Olivia raises a hand and touches it. Ow, why? Jeez, that really hurts. Yeah, it does. I didn't think to get sunscreen the way over. It wouldn't. Ha it wouldn't happen to be any here, right? She's like, my man. Point taken. But there's some of those spiky plants outside. A low something, I think. Just snap a leaf. Just snap. Just snap a leaf off. Mrs. Pain won't care, probably. I think I've heard something about that plant before, yeah. Aloe vera, my man. Woman. Oh, I guess I'll give it a shot. I get up and head back out the front door, and lo and behold, there was in fact a number of those spiky plants around. But not all spiky plants are aloe vera. You gotta be careful around that. Mm -hmm. I woke up to the nearest one and carefully grabbed the leaf in a spot with dull spikes. It bends and snaps out pretty easily. Man, this looks about good enough to eat, but it probably tastes awful. Is it really good for curing sunburned skin? Back inside, Olivia started painting again. She gazes intently at the page. The plate of food- Ah, I did not read that. And the plate of food I had brought in is cleaned. Olivia holds one last ribbon in her mouth like a cigarette. It waggles up and down between her teeth. When she sees me, she crunches the bone in two and swallows the last of it whole. I bring up the aloe leaf. This it? She nods and extends a hand to grab it. I hand her the thick leaf and she extends a single claw. Once she catches the edge of the skin, she makes quick work peeling the husk off. You do that often? Not me. Sophia uses it a lot to make smoothies for the family and healing sa salves for Vinny. They're really pretty, too. Olivia blinks, coughs, and grimaces. To, uh, paint, I mean. Naturally homemade healing recipe, huh? Gonna have to ask for that later. Could come in handy down the line. I am moved to remove my jacket so that we can be applied pro property but i don't get far before i notice olivia's fa <laughs> face turning a darker shade again no uh no need to remove your jacket just roll up your sleeves and put the jelly on your neck he hands me now exposed aloe jelly all the while doing her best to not lock eyes with me hey <laughs> sometimes you lock eyes with someone and you get that spark you know what I'm saying? Or maybe you don't, but they do. So you're like, damn, I got that Riz. I got that Chiha Riz, you know? Slaughtering families. Whoa, <laughs> calm down. After rolling up my sleeves, I scoop out the dollop of the opaque substance. A feeling of relief. <clears throat> oh, sorry. My throat is a bit dry. Pause. A feeling of relief hits me the moment I spread it across my neck. Man, this feels good. I start applying more to my nose, cheeks, and most importantly, the top of my head. As I do, I watch Olivia continue her painting, taking extra attention to her brush strokes. The way she moves it down the canvas with such smoothness and gentleness shows her level of concentration. Not too rushed, but also not that overly focused in the art either. No, I have a theory of mine. Remember when you- Do you know when you play games, right? Let's say shooting games or League of Legends. It's hand-eye coordination. But specifically with games that you have to move the gun, you know, angles, you gotta move your mouse left and right. It's different muscles, correct? If we want to aim, if we want to move or uh, flick, you use your whole arm or half of it, not your wrist. You only use your wrist if you have high DPI or sensitivity. I'm just gonna bullshit for like good three minutes here. If you really want to aim, like, sl like you know, on small micro micro flicks you use your fingers to tighten them so by the end of the day i think uh something like writing or painting gaming and stuff like that it's a matter of like exercising those muscles uh good 10 20 minutes a day or maybe an hour depends on what you're doing 
I don't know, man. That's just me. That's just my theory right there. Because muscle memory can help a lot. Not too rushed, but also not that overly focused on the art either. Using the last of the aloe to cover my arms, I'm fully covered in the rudimentary remedy. I take a second and throw the house away in the kitchen trash, catching a glimpse of the party outside. Everyone looks like they're having a good time out there. Except for Mrs. Sophia, who's currently trying to chase a very soaked Vinny with a towel. Back on the couch, Olivia's painting is starting to take a more defined shape, just like her- Whoa, pause everyone, you didn't hear me say anything. Unlike the cityscape piece, however, it looks more organic. She continues to paint in silence, occasionally doing a quick glance at me to see if I'm still watching. I don't want to poke at Olivia for no real reason, but this might just be my only chance to ask. So wanna go on a date? Hey, this guy! This guy skips, uh, you know, skips uh, steps one. And two, it's, it's head straight to steps four and five. Hey, Olivia, mm -hmm. your family, the pains, they seem like a lively bunch. What's that supposed to mean? Like, I knew Damien was eccentric, but I can see he gets it from the rest of her family. Hmm. First of all, the pains are my godparents. Secondly, yeah, they are. So, how long have you known them for? Olivia paused for a moment, mid brush stroke, but then continues. Practically my whole life, David and I have known each other since we were carpet crocs. And his parents have known my dad since, well forever, since before we were even neighbors. Uh, friends of the family? Pretty much. Whole reason why I'm living with them. Her muzzle clamps shut. Forget what I just said. The words are spoken with a tone tinged bitter with something. Tinged bitter with something. I did not read the whole part, I'm sorry. Bitter, 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 butter. A tone I felt very familiar with whenever my own family is brought up. Sure. The only sounds left now are her brush strokes on the canvas. My focus turns back to the patch of blotchy red and pale acrylic oil slowly forming across the white expanse. Occasionally, Olivia's grey eyes would glance my way before going back to her work. Compared to the more rapid pace of time-lapse art videos I had viewed, she was more deliberate with each of her movements. Pretty obvious since most of those were done digitally, another thing I'd not considered. Still staring at the painting in progress itself, there's something uncanny about it. It's now more formed, definitely looking like something. Cupping my chin with one hand in contemplation, I use the other to try and trace out the peachy, pale, and vibrant red colors. Olivia looks back to me again and a glint of something shines through her eyes. Hold that pose now. Hey, how long have you been using me as a layman doll? Her hand fails to cover up the snort that comes from her nose, followed by a gremlin-like cackle. <laughs> Consider the price to see my process. I want a refund. <laughs> nope. Looking again, it's slowly becoming an oil bust of my burnt face. Like looking in a mirror, eh? Can't you at least get my good angle? Mm, nope. Man, they, they, they go to your room, my man. They be flirting out here in the living room couch. Get up. Go, go to your room or something. Turning back to the mural de Melaoma, Melivia starts adding in a blotch of cream by my head. Sigh so escapes my lips. Hey, I said stay still. Why? And I'm not that red. Another high-pitched giggle comes out of Olivia. It's called artistic license. But it needs to be renewed. Despite being the butt of her joke, I feel myself smiling. Must be the new sounds from her. Pause. Whoa, <laughs> that's a sussy way to say that. It's the first, or maybe my mind is always just in the gutter for the past few months, I think. I should really, I should really meditate a good 10 minutes or so. When you mean meditate, do in a really comfortable position, stretch a little bit, and try to think on one thing. Because I'm going to say think about nothing, but that's a bit difficult. I tried to do that. Holy shit, the amount of focus you have to do. So you're not really relaxing by that point. Must be the new sounds from her, it's the first time I think I've seen her happy outside of uh, Leon's class. And yet, yeah, that laugh of hers is kind of infectious. The silence returns, though the mood feels much lighter now. I feel so stiff right now. Pause. I don't know how long I've been hiding, I've been holding this pose now. If I had to guess from the sunlight filtering to the house, it's at least been an hour. Mural de, de Melanoma was almost done and was staring back at me with the most intense eyes. Olivia's attention was left on one final detail, the hand holding my chin. I'm thankful she'd finished the sunglasses first because the reflected light from the sliding back door had been searing my retina. Olivia- Hush! Shut up, Inko! You're about to break her mewing streak. She turns her head and focuses entirely on the hand held by my ear. People's moving rapidly to try and take in every last detail. Her fingers twitch as her hand hovers over the painted hand. 
Her eyes are now shifting between my hand and my eyes. Her hand is now quaking and a growing redness suffuses her face. The more she looks towards my eyes, the more her arm shakes and face brightens. Finally, she turns away from me entirely, bringing both of her arms with her and away from me in the canvas. Okay. Okay. Her cheeks puff out as she exhales her held breath. Okay. Finally, she turns her cheery red face to the canvas and inspects the near-complete portrait. I'll come back to this later. Oh my god, that looks hella artistic. Like, really good. You might, at first, you'd be like, it doesn't really look like him, but it's good. It's, art imitates life. So, it's, so usually when you just draw something to it, it's exact detail. Like, that could be more like... It shows that you have mastered your foundations, you know, about lighting, shadows, you know, shapes, all that. But then the question would be, what about in a more artistic manner, in your own way, how you look at the world? And that's the challenge right there, to be an, being an artist. You can just copy paste it, you're sure. But th that question is how you how are you gonna make it unique? You could you could copy a fucking painting of a rose, and you, it would look different because it would be based on how you look at it, right? Going back to the game, yada yada yada. Can I hug you? Oh, whoa, yeah, yeah, you can drop your hand now. Finally, I lay back on the couch, feeling my spinal cord pop in rapid succession. Succession. So, usually, people who are, as they say, model statues or figures, you know, your human art piece, someone who has to stay at the post for like four hours, six hours, yeah, they get paid a lot. But of course, it's not like it's a lot of money if you consider it for a month. Because they don't do this every day. That's insane. I said your hand. Can't. I attempt to stretch my arm in front of me. And because of my stiffened muscles, my form is pulled back towards my face. I repeat the motion several times, the movement helping to ease the muscle until finally my arm doesn't feel spring-loaded. While I was busy trying to fix my arm, Olivia was packing up the canvas. Uh, that's about it. You can go join the others or whatever. She drags the canvas easel and acrylic tubes back to her room. I wonder if she'll keep that one. And I wonder if she'll stay in her room again. Hmm, we've been inside for a while. I don't think anyone outside has noticed we've been gone. Vinny and Damon seem to accept that Olivia would stay inside, but wait. Hmm? I've caught her a bit of guard. Alright, here we go, boys. We got two angles here. We got the your family needs you. Familiar loyalty. Or this is how we test the relationship here. How much pull can we, you know, really pull here? How, how much of the rope? How much, how can we rope her in? How, where's the line here? Let's see. If I'm going outside, it would be rude for me to leave without saying bye at least. She looks at me quizzi quizzically. Sure? But I think I'll try staying until the end. This, this has probably been the best day I've had since I moved here. And my first real friends in a long while. I'm glad they have been invited. She's not leaving, but she's scanning me suspiciously. Damon's been a great friend, and his folks have been really nice to me, better than my own parents even. You're lucky to have them, I think. I I guess. Good for you, my man. Have fun with that. I really need to... I think you should come along. She freezes. What? Her eyes widen some of the color leaves her face. N no, I can't. Why not? Mr. and Mrs. Payne. They already have Vincent and Damon to worry about, and right now they're hosting all the other guests. I've got plenty to deal with already. I'm not worth the accommodations. Just leave it. Let them be normal. Even then, it's like I said, I don't I don't have much time left. What does that mean, Olivia? Oh my god. Oh my god, here we go again, man. This game is about to traumatize me. That's a little overly harsh. Or not traumatize. It's about to it's about to tug my heartstrings. It's about to Oh it's about to if it got stuff deep down my my mental capacity that's locked in. You know, it has like it's severely secured. Got a lot of security guards and shit. To the point that if if some if someone with uh, you know who can mind control or has telepathy tries to lock in my head my mind, nah, they're not breaking in. But if it's from within though, that's different. It was every argument she had. They're the kind of arguments that come from a de from desperate form, from desperation and guilt to convince herself it's for her own good. Maybe it's a little presumptuous, but that's at least the sort of thoughts I've had reading notes from my parents, allotting me resources like I'm just an uh, anthropomor anthropomorphized mouth. Certainly doesn't seem like I'm worthy to them sometimes. 
But they were godparents, right? They're helping your folks. So yeah, but they chose to have you here because they want you to let you be normal. That doesn't uh, normal part of their far family, I mean. I don't think they'd have you here if they didn't want that. Oh, please. Go on and tell me more about my own family. Her vo voice is sardonic. She's not making eye contact anymore, but she's listening intently. Comment down below. What's sardonic? Because I'm about to search it in 3, 2, 1. Sardonic. That's a cool meaning. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Mocking or cynical. So it's like, guys. Sarcastic tone. But sardonic, I guess it's a bit more... Yeah, 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 mocking. You know, it really describes the, the tone rather than... Sarc sarcastic could mean anything, honestly. You could be trying to make a joke. Maybe not in a rude way. Sardonic means in a mocking way, I guess. This is like plain on disrespectful. This is all stuff she's known already. But you're absolutely right about one thing. You don't have much time left. Neither do I, honestly, even if it's mostly because of moving. You know what they say about Rolling Stones gathering no moss? In that way, we're in the same boat. Give it a shot. There's some perfectly good moss right out there. What? Huh? <sighs> okay. I'll try it with you. That analog analogy was pretty dumb, but you're right. It was pretty dumb. I was like, moss? The only person who likes moss, and you know, not in a bad way, is, my, you know, the goat, Amelia Watson. He's a detective, by the way. A time-traveling detective. Check her out. The back door squeaks back open. E even with sunglasses, I wince at the sudden brightness. I take a step out and stretch my back, working out the last bit of stiffness from my shoulders. Olivia still... Oh, Olivia. Who the fuck is Olivia, my man? Olivia still waits at the threshold of the door. And what are you waiting for? A curtain call? With a grin, I draw the sliding door even wider. And with a beckoning wave, I attempt to usher Olivia out as if I were her personal attendant. Cut that out. Don't make it weird. Spider words, their tone is more humored than, an humored than annoyed with me. Relax, nobody was even looking. But it looks like there's definitely no more food left. About right. As Olivia rolls down a small wooden ramp, I hadn't noticed. We catch a dame in the bottom step. O Olivia? At the table, heads turn towards us, looks of surprise etched on the face of most of them. Instead of answering him verbally, Olivia's hand comes up in a nervous wave. The rest of the party resumes their prior discussions, although maybe a bit livelier than before. Hey, cool to see you out here again. Hey, Damon, why are you all the way over here for? I can't stand to be by Liz's uncle when he's eating. He's got those... fibrous teeth. Ugh. Like blue waves have? Yeah, freaks me out. His dentist must, have, must make a fortune. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Olivia, what are you doing back out here? You forgot something? No, I just thought it'd be good to enjoy the weather while it lasts. Damon perks up, he gets bricked up real quick with his frills undulating. No, Damien, stop that. Oliver, love, what the fuck, man. I keep mis misreading her name. Olivia Quiver. Liv quivers as Damien grins, grows wider, and fellows start moving faster. Ew, stop it. Even I'm getting a nerve by how those things move. Oh, yeah, they kind of, they kind of, you know, you know how iguanas or, you know, with frills and shit, they kind of move individually. They could control it. Yeah. Damien. Sorry, you know these things got a mind of their own. Finally, those weird flaps. Still. Dude, you were just complaining about Mr. Ferris and his teeth. At least he can keep his mouth shut. Hey, hey, I could always wear a beanie. No, you can't. Remember the last time you tried. Both Damien and Olivia share a laugh over some event they're private to. When they finish, Damien asks a million dollar question. So, are you going to join in or... She turns her head to my way and I give her a supportive thumbs up. Yeah. Damon finally stands from the step and we all start heading for the table. Each party girl greets us when we approach. The loudest... Biffy! Uh, hey, hey, hey! You finally came to play again! The, rumb the, rumb the rumbunctious boy hoots and hollers as he bounces in circles around her. Olivia huddles her arm and looks aside my direction, filling the stairs from the table. I give her a reassuring thumbs up. Actually, it is perfect. Thank you, Vinny. This is something Olivia's able to give when she was so worried about just talking. I hope she goes for it. Uh, I'm a little tired, Vinny. What? No, come on, Olivia. You promised to play today. Like old times. I... Please? Oh. Uh, all right, all right, you win. I did promise. You wanna play cannon then? Yeah, 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 cannon. All right then, ready? Round loaded. Fire! God damn. 
This guy can this guy got a mean mean left and right hook, you know? Randy. Oh relax, so oh, Vinny's still young. Michael, Vinny, be careful. I'm okay, mom. Woo, have you gotten stronger, Livia? No, shut up. Anyway, can we do it again, Livy? Oh my god, it's weird seeing it, but she ready to Vincent for another launch. A Gator Girl has a bright, duty smile, never thought she had. My god, she is most likely gonna dominate. Um, She can most likely break Inko's in half. If Fang can literally, you know, slice people up. Live over here, Olivia. She can most likely like hurl Inko through a wall. Oh, uh, Mr. Payne. <laughs> Woo! All right, I get it. Vincent. Yeah, Dad. No more cannon today. Olivia and Vincent share a disappointed look. Right on now. There's a lot more things you two can do. Vincent perks up and immediately rushes off. Olivia turns back to the rest of the group with an uneasy smile. Miss Payne steps forward, her hands held up and wavering. Olivia. Uh, hi, Auntie. Miss Payne and her husband approach both with nervous smiles. Alright, alright. When she speaks, it's with certain restraint holding her excitement back. As though worried, if it showed too much, she'll change her mind and go back in. I didn't miss much, right? I'm so glad you came out, dear. What's happening? The older woman kneels in front of her and wraps her arms around Olivia. No! No! It wasn't supposed to be her. It was supposed to be me, not her. We were supposed to hug the gator. Hey, it's been too long, the lace. Randy's hand ruffles her hair while his other arm also in serials about Olivia and Sophia. And while Olivia does her best to avoid his palm. I can see the tiny smile on her face. Time seemed to pick up speed after Olivia had come out. David and his father returned to the grill, managing to prep and cook a final serving of meaty goodness for an early dinner. I decided I could go for seconds and get a few scraps of this and that. I need to drop my food when I got when I get a rough pat on the shoulder. My God, I'm about to bust a fat nut. Welcome back, everyone. Sandra finally calmed down. You know, there we go. So I nearly drop my food when I get a rough pat on the shoulder from behind. It's Mr. Payne. He looks down at me with a thankful smile. Miss Payne and Mr. Ferris had continued their convo till Mr. Ferris' throat ran dry. And the rest of us had to contend with a hyperactive child with an armory of foam dart guns. I felt bad for Liz. She'd become a one-woman shooting gallery for the boy. And Olivia and me and Damon, but at least he looked apologetic about it. But now things are winding down. The food is officially all gone. Everyone is exhausted physically and mentally and yet thoroughly satisfied emotionally. Olivia passed by me having returned to the pool to cool down and stretch out. It was just one last thing to really cap this off. Okay, everyone. I hollered to everyone currently in the deck grouped up nicely for me. I'm back to the game. Damn, Vinny looks like a gangster, like a G. Lisby looking long and necky. And you got that muscle girl over there. I'll hug that gator, you know what I'm saying? They look pretty decent. Looking through the viewfinder of my propped up camera, just the focus intro. Everyone is captured perfectly in the shot. All right, on three, give me your biggest smiles. One, wait. Olivia turns away from the camera, looking towards Damien. With a grin, Damien waves for me. Dude, you gotta be in this too. There's nods and words of agreement from everyone. Well, it's been a while since I've used this mode, so why not? Send the time delay along with the sports mode. I'm sure with 10 rapid succession shots, at least one of them will be perfect. And I can always do some post-production on it too. And turn to the focus. Well, yes, we get it, my man. You're a, you're a photo photographer. All right. By 13, I've seated, my, I've seated myself next to Damien and above Olivia. All right. 9, 8, 7... We always move. What the fuck? Yo, they're moving. This is insane. This original novel is insane. Three, two. Oh. My camera flashes, goes off 10 times as I'm pushed over by Damien and pulled into the pool by Olivia. I go. 
September 25th. It's been nearly a full month and things are starting to feel natural in school now. Well, at least compared to my old schools, except now I've actually made some good friends and a girlfriend. Oh, pause. I'm pretty sure we're good friends anyways. I don't really know how to measure friendship. Outside of that party a few days ago, I haven't hung out with many of them outside of school. If friends just hung out at school and good friends and stuff outside of school, where does that put us? Somewhere in between, my man. Somewhere in between. Still earning the school year? I'll figure out the friendship conversation rate at some point. And it's not like I'm rushing either. Shades, focus! Living my current thoughts? Okay. He's spacing out again, my boys. Alright. Alright. Stop. I'm gonna end this video right here. That was insane. Things are moving. This is a visual novel. This is how visual novel should have be. There are some movements here and there. And for me, I greatly appreciate it. 10 out of 10 game. Already. Well, 9 out of 10. It is what it is. Alright, everyone. I'm, I'm gonna see you in the next episode of Wanna Hug That Gator. Good luck on whatever you're doing. And yeah. Bye.